Hello everybody, welcome to Build Fly Go. So last week uh, we were almost done with the um, wing bits and as you can see here this is the right aileron and I'm just finishing it up. I think I'm putting the brackets onto the ends and then we put it away. Um, the exciting part of uh, this week is we actually finally started on the fuselage and these are the fuselage bulkheads. Uh, what you're seeing right there is the spar carry through which is uh, what attaches the airplane effectively to the wings. Um, there are these anodized uh, big aluminum bars uh, with webbing in between them. And uh, that's, that's the, I guess, the main bulkhead um, on the airplane, and there's a bunch of parts that come off of that. And it's what transfers the load from the wings to the to the fuselage. So we are uh, getting all of that ready, and... Um, we actually made a ton of progress on bulkheads this week. Uh, I managed to get, I think it's three, four bulkheads, uh, I believe. One, two, yeah, four bulkheads. Um, uh, match drilled, cleaned up. Uh, there's a lot of actual drilling to be done here and some parts to be, to be formed and tons of nut plates to attach and uh, I got them primed and uh, assembled. You see that there is the, that's the main landing gear, uh, the big white weldments there are the main landing gear and they attach to um, that bulkhead, the, the spark carry through. Um, and part of it is you need to, of course, clean it up, right? I mean, the, the, the weldments got a little bit of uh, flashing that needs to be cleaned up. Some of the powder coat is, um, not perfectly uh, laid down and there's little bits and bobs of it that need to be cleaned. But this is uh, the sort of the usual day-to-day -day of building an airplane, right? So you saw there that we got uh, fresh parts uh, in the blue, um, is what I call it, with the blue plastic. You peel the blue, pl blue plastic off and then um, I will usually deburr right away and get the parts do cleaned up and ready to go. And then... Um, you place them in place, you clico them, and then you start uh, reaming or match, match reaming, match drilling, whatever you want to call it. Uh, pull them apart. Uh, do any further deburring that needs to happen. Um, it's a lot of back and forth of clicoing things on and then removing them and things like that. And then uh, you... If there's any other uh, things that have to happen, if they have to be dimpled or anything like that, and these parts did not need to be dimpled... Um, you do that, and then you get them ready for prime, and then you prime them. In this case, because I know I want to do one shot of priming, uh, there was going to be a warm day. I believe it was Thursday. I want to do one shot of priming, so I want to get all of the parts for the bulkheads done. So this is the, I believe this is the third bulkhead, uh, front to back. And uh, so I'm doing the same thing, oh, and here's the fourth. <laughs> it goes much faster when you're doing this on a time lapse. Um, so you just... It's, it's a big rinse and repeat of taking all those parts off, taking all the plastic apart, um, clicoing, and all this kind of stuff. So this is now Thursday, I believe. Yes, Thursday. And it's warm out, and you can just sort of see me off the edge there. I'm actually... Um, I mixed the primer. You can see the primer's on the, the workbench there. I mixed the, the, the whole um, sort of can of... Uh, or cup of, of primer. And I am outside... Um, scuffing and pre-coating parts and now you can see that I'm spraying parts also outside and uh, bringing parts in as I can. Um, of course, as is always the case with uh, priming parts, there's always one part that you forget to prime, right? And then there's a tiny part that gets left over for next time that uh, <laughs> that you're going to prime things. Um, you can tell, as usual, I ran out of primer um, and I mixed another, I think I mixed like two fingers worth of, of paint there, of primer there. And um, as usual, it's not enough. So I had to do it again. <laughs> and the, the problem is every time I do this, the primer has to sit and kick uh, for half an hour. So I mix and it has to kick for a half hour. And then I can do it again. But alas, here we go. Here is the, the day after priming. I always let it sit for a day. And you can see me off in the corner there. And I am riveting all of these parts together and I am putting the nut plates in and you know sort of the stacks are, are moving around. Um, this is probably my favorite part of uh, sort of the airplane building process, right? Is when the, when the parts are ready and they're primed and you're riveting things together and you're, you're really getting things to, to work out and uh, you're getting you know big airplane assemblies out of it. 
So uh, here is the uh, sort of the forward or main bulkhead and uh, spark carry through. Um, I click it all that together. I did the bits that I could do and I sort of put it on the side. Same thing here. I'm clicking everything together and getting them ready. And uh, then I am going to wait to to get it. Looks like I took a break there. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to wait for uh, Mary to come home, and she's going to help me rivet some of these. Um, I tend to be cautious, especially with spars like this. I'm pretty cautious because, I, you know, you don't want to mess those up. They're heavy, expensive parts that uh, uh, not only are they expensive to buy replacements, they're also expensive to ship. So just being careful there. You can see some tape where I'm um, making sure I don't ding things. And we managed to rivet up... Uh, both of the um, spark carry through pieces, they, they sort of sandwich together and uh, put, just putting them aside and managing to, to move on. It was a, a great building week and we've got uh, more great building weeks to come. All right, thanks everybody for watching as usual. Uh, do subscribe, it helps. And we'll see you guys soon. Have a great day.